السلام علیکم گائز دس از دی شہیار مبارک آن مائی چینل حسن علی ود انادر ایپیسوڈ آف مائی ٹیک ویل ڈسپائٹ ایڈمٹنگ دا فیکٹ دیٹ آئی ڈی ایف کے ناٹ ڈفیٹ ہماس اور کے ناٹ ون غزا وار دے آر اسٹل کنٹینوئنگ ٹو کل سویلینس اکراس غزا اسٹرپ ویدر اٹس سینٹرل غزا ویدر اٹس نادرن غزا ویدر اٹس ویسٹرن غزا whether it's southern western gaza whether it's khan yunus whether it's rafa whether it's deer bala whether it's nusriyat whether it's jabalia whether where whether it's al masawi the so called safe zone which was declared by idf forces when they started uh, when they start uh, at entering rafa district and they asked people of rafa around 1.5 billion people of rafa for till that time were seeking refuge in rafa from the beginning of this war since 7th october 2023 they were uh, seeking shelter in rafa they were asked to move back to khan yunus and then to western southern part to this uh, 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 a land uh, um, um, a land uh, a land near uh, the sea coastal line of gaza they were asked to baron is to 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 adjust to that barren land there were there were nothing there there were no that land was not so that part of land was not sufficient for the people of gaza to seek shelter there but they were asked by the idf and by the israeli state to move to al masawi and now when while the idf brigadier general Daniel Hagari the spokesperson of IDF who represents the uh, Israeli defense forces and who often uh, we see his face 3 to 4 times in a week sometimes on our televisions he often came out and tell us about the progress the Israeli forces is making in Gaza have making make made a staggering remark couple of days back i think it was on tuesday he said that IDF cannot defeat Hamas or he says in the literal meaning that we are not winning this gaza war those who think in his words if i exactly put those who think that they can militarily defeat the hamas or the idea of hamas from the people of gaza or from the palestinian mindset or from the palestinian society they are wrong we cannot defeat them militarily it does only mean one thing that he concede defeat in simple in if you want a simple explanation anyone can tell you that they considered defeat because he actually give a shut up call to benjamin netanyahu and people like smotrich and uh, yova gallant and also the atmak ben gavi that champ the champ that we are not winning this war because benjamin netanyahu always kept on saying these words that we will finish the job and he made up or cooked up the lie last week and, and this week on on wednesday when he issued a video a 5 minute long video where he says that we will continue uh, continue over our war in gaza uh, despite the military uh, the military spokesperson i uh, the idf spokesperson daniel hagari said that we cannot defeat hamas militarily or it's 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 a it's it's a, a defeat can see he considered a defeat in a literal meaning if any for someone who has tactical and strategic strategic knowledge of army and the army operations he can tell you that they are they are accepting defeat in gaza they are accepting their military defeat in gaza because they have failed to eliminate hamas they have killed more civilians than hamas and they are not winning the war it is a indication towards the future or it is the indication what what idf wants in that speech or in that video uh, uh, benjamin netanyahu who actually has now dumped biden and anthony blinken he said that when anthony blinken was here i talked freely and talked openly and frankly and i asked him to <laughs> supply us 2000 pound uh, uh, that dumb bombs or uh, bunker busters so we could finish the job and he said that america has halted the uh, arm supplies to us to the, these bombs weigh from 1700 pound to 2000 pound bombs and couple of bombs are weighing from 500 pound to uh, somewhere around 1500 to 1700 pound bombs so they these he said that these shipments of these bombs 
have been stopped by uh, uh, by american and by biden administration and he is not helping us to achieve total victory while his spokesperson of military is saying that we cannot defeat them uh, militarily it only means one thing that benjamin netanyahu is going south and their army is going west because their army is not willing to continue this operation and they do not want to lose more soldiers or or have more disabled soldiers or soldiers who will need psychological treatment after the war as 35% of soldiers who have returned from the gaza operation or gaza war are seeking uh, mental health or the psychological help in israel's or israel's military hospital and 70000 soldiers have been permanently disabled who have lost their limbs either their arm or their legs so while killing but they are still continuing to kill innocent civilians innocent children and women of gaza and they are killing across gaza strip now they have plundered or they have ransacked rafa completely by entering their tanks in there and destroying it burning to the ground raising it and they have destroyed the gaza's official crossing you can see the videos are on the internet the uh, so, uh, journalists who are embedded with um, uh, jewish journalists who are embedded with the uh, israeli journalists with the israeli forces they are sharing the video the amount of destruction on the rafa crossing you can see they have destroyed everything there they have raised it to the ground and they have compl- and it was the main part where uh, the aid from egyptian side entered to gaza they have halted that aid from the last month couple of trucks couple of hundred trucks have been allowed and now only few trucks have been allowed daily which are not enough some say around 50 to 60 or 70 trucks been allowed some says only 40 to 50 trucks entered in a day which is not enough up in a place like gaza where there is a man made famine when there is uh, a hunger starvation people are dying of malnutrition people are dying of hunger people are dying of not getting medicine or not getting treatment because there is nothing there the hospitals have exhausted their uh, resources they do not have fuel they do not have enough medicines they do not have the equipment or right medicines to help the injured or the ill people in gaza or people who have been brought to them after the israeli bombing across gaza strip uh, 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 hospitals like uh, kamal khudru uh, adwan hospital european hospital koiti hospital these hospitals are exhausted they do not have any resources they are already uh, have used their full capacity they do not have anything they just can only is the pain or can give first aid they do not have the equipment to help the people but still idf is going on killing innocent civilians of gaza and they are the real fact is that admission of daniel hegari is one thing that he is clear that idf is not in mood to going uh, to uh, escalate the tensions with hezbollah or going with a full blown war of with hezbollah lebanon i think that's why they have said that they cannot defeat hamas militarily hezbollah is a different story we all know hezbollah has more weapons hezbollah also lebanon has a army lebanon is a proper country proper state a free state so the uh, d- there are lot many differences there and if they go to war with hezbollah israel will lose much more and they will not only lose uh, the soldiers or idf people uh, injured in that conflict they would also lose many civilians because uh, uh, hezbollah have the arsenal they have that capability or have those missiles who can hit israel deeply and if that happens you uh, or you know that hamas would also help them they will also fire missiles from their side so i think that is the reason daniel hegari said what they do not want to say that we cannot win this war we cannot defeat hamas militarily then why you are still killing innocent civilians of gaza it's a question to be asked why the israeli forces chief or the generals why they are not pulling back it is a thing to be asked but this admission or this admonishment from idf to benjamin netanyahu means a lot and still benjamin netanyahu is adamant on 
or held bent to continuing the Gaza war and also wants to go to full scale war with Hezbollah Lebanon. He is wanting, he wants a larger war because he seems to know that if this Gaza war stops, he is going to jail. And the other thing, the invincibility of Israel is shattered by 7th October incidents and their military their admission that they cannot defeat Hamas militarily. It is something that's admonished people like Benjamin Netanyahu, people like Ben Itmar Ben Gavir, people like Biden, Anthony Blinken and those who say that you can suppress a liberation movement, you can suppress a liberation organization, but you cannot suppress the wanting of being free and the freedom for themselves. You cannot suppress Palestinian freedom struggle or freedom movement. The two-state solution is the only way and is the right time for the America to put more pressure on Benjamin Netanyahu to stop this war and to end the misery of 2.3 million innocent civilians of Gaza and also to get their remaining hostages back safely. Long live Islam, long live the people of Palestine, long live the people of Gaza. From the river to the sea, Palestine shall be free. Allah Hafiz.